Welcome to the Honesty Club podcast. I'm Kelly. And I'm Sarah Joy. We've been friends for over a decade. And at this point, we've talked about everything. Each week, we'll take a hot topic and give our honest takes. And even better, we're inviting you to be a part of the conversation by submitting your stories and thoughts. Laugh a little, learn a little, and even feel free to disagree. You're invited to join the Honesty Club. Hey everyone, welcome to the Honesty Club. Welcome back to our video podcast. <laughs> we decided to switch sides. Oh yeah, you're right. So, yeah. Every time we have a video, it's a new scene, so. It's true. It's been a new scene every time. <laughs> yeah. Now, we were technically here, but with a different setup. So, true. we're trying a new Never thing. We're let trying to know what you're going to do next. <laughs> we're trying table time. <laughs> table time. Coffee table time. I've got my Honesty Club mug. We're ready to have a great day. And apparently I match it. So You do. It's like the exact purple. Yeah. That is your color. I love it. It looks really good on you. I love it. Thank you. So that's one of your new finds. Yeah. Your outfit's really cool today, too. You can't see Kelly's pants, but they're like cargo. Yeah. I'm, it's very chessy. It is. Yeah. But chessy with a twist. Chessy with a young girl twist. Mm-hmm. She, yeah, she wasn't wearing cargo pants. Mm. So. Yeah. No, she was not. Don't she was wearing, it. like, camp shorts, if anything. No, she had pants on, but they were, like... You're right. Almost cropped. They were that. They were that fit. Yeah. 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 So... Yeah, I feel like... I almost wore this to your birthday party. Oh, yeah. But then I was, like... I was thinking everybody was going to go Chessie. Chessie. Because it's so... Like, it's kind of the easiest thing right now, because we all have yeah. Chessie outfits. Yeah. So then I, I was, like, all right, I'm going to just do something different. I, I love what you went with. That's I love great. Hallie. That's great. Hallie Camp. Yeah. Hallie yeah. at Camp. Yeah. <laughs> camp Hallie. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah. So, Sounds anyway, tough. that has been a while now. Yeah. A it, lot. It has. Summer's flying. Life I is I mean, flying. it's August. Happy August, everyone. Wow. It Crazy. August. That came quick. I know. Our birthdays came and went. I know. Everything's just... But... Let me tell you. Eight months into the year. The so fall we're, we're more 2024 feelings? than we are 2023. Oh, good Lord. I know. The fall feelings are coming for me. Yeah. Like, as soon I, as the birthday is over, I'm mm-hmm. like, all right, fall time. That happens to me when it's December. Mm-hmm. Once Christmas is over, I'm done with I'm like, springtime. Fall, I'm done with yeah. winter. Yeah. And then you have like two more months of winter. So, it's so you annoying. know. But now, I'm ready to garden. After my birthday, I'm ready for spring. Ready for fall. Yeah. And I've been seeing all these posts or, you know, videos like pumpkin spice lattes are coming soon. Like oh this gosh. many days till blah, blah, blah. Wow. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's really coming. So it is. I, I'm i just there. I'm already there in my head. It's yeah. just the weather is not there at all. The weather but. will not be there. <laughs> but, but I have learned it's okay. to not you worry gotta about make, the weather. No, you got to make the most of it. Especially where we live. Yeah, and it's it's worthless to complain about it. I actually have not... It's been a very hot summer. Very. But, like, I haven't... I don't think I've really minded the heat. I'm yeah. like, it's not that bad. Mm-hmm. Like, if you just get out into it, it's bad if you come in from a super air-conditioned place and walk outside. You're like, okay, uh-huh. <laughs> you know? Uh-huh. Or if you don't dress right exactly then you're like coming out and you're wearing a sweater or what or what you're wearing right yeah. now you come outside and you're like uh-uh no way. like no you gotta, gotta dress take appropriately. <laughs> but if you're dressed appropriately and you go outside you're like it's very very warm exactly but it's okay mm-hmm mm-hmm yeah. I learned a lot from doing your house in the just that is exactly what I'm dead of about summer. Too. I'm, mm-hmm. like, I'm like I we could do was this actually all right especially if you go into and there's the nothing parts. wrong with sweat no it's okay yeah you just have to shower yeah, you just have to have like a nice drink and you can take on the heat. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, get your drinks in order, get your popsicles if you need, take your breaks. Mm-hmm. But you got to enjoy live the life. breeze. Yeah. You'll be all right. Yeah. Honestly, there's nothing like the shade really helps. Yeah. Cuz I've actually been, okay, this is actually maybe a life update. Okay. Right here. So, y'all might laugh at me, but I have been a nervous Nelly about going on a walk by myself. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. No, I feel you. You just hear, like, horror stories constantly of, like, yeah. women running and walking by themselves, and then someone, like, learns the pattern of where they go, and then yeah. they get snatched. Yeah. Well, and not in a good way, like, in a bad way. <laughs> right. 
So I just haven't had that in my mind, and I'm like, oh, I'm so, it's scary. But then I see all of these girls on like TikTok and Instagram. And they're like, Jamie, hot girl walk, and I'm like, mm-hmm. why are they not afraid? <laughs> so then I just was like, okay, number one, I live in a very safe neighborhood. Yeah, literally see people. I see older ladies walking by themselves. Mm-hmm. You know, so I was like, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, and I'm just gonna get out there. And Matthew was at work, so I was like, hey, I'm gonna go on a walk. Yeah. I te- I'll text you I'll when text I get you when back. Done. If yeah. it's not in an hour, come looking for me. Yeah. <laughs> so he was like, all right. So I went on my walk and it was so nice. I actually loved it. Yeah. I was like, I'm not, I'm not typically like the person that's like, I love to do all these things by myself. I kind of like I a love, friend. I love a self. But like, this was so fun. And yeah. I enjoyed it. I was like in the nature. I was in the sun. And there was shade because there's a lot of trees in my neighborhood. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, I was just living my best life and I mm-hmm. felt really good. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I was able to do it. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes like if you have to wait for someone to do it with you, like if I wait for Matthew, it mm-hmm. gets later and later and then like things come up or you have something in the evening and it mm-hmm. can not always work out. And so I was like, I just got to start doing mm-hmm. it myself mm-hmm. to make sure that I get it in. Mm-hmm. And I really enjoyed it, and I did it, and I was a brave little girl. And then I decided <laughs> not to take the same route every time. Yeah, mix so it I'm up. mixing it up. Yeah, that's and good. I'm doing different routes. Yeah, and I've going done at it. different times of day. Exactly. Yeah, I've done it twice so mm-hmm. far, and I really liked it. That's amazing. So I love it. there it is. I love it. That's great. I heard somebody say that she was nervous. She was taking like her kid on a walk. So kid uh-huh. stroller yeah you know stroller and her and she was like i was kind of nervous to go by myself yeah. but i bought an nra cap <gasps> so she's like people think twice nice yeah. actually so I she's like do that. she's like i look nice and innocent and then she's like no nah, i look deadly <laughs> <laughs> so, okay where'd she get that i gotta get that you just get them in this neighborhood they'll they wouldn't mind that they'd be like probably <laughs> yeah they'd see you and they'd be like pew pew yeah, they're like, all right, all right. Yeah. They're so, like, go off. Yeah. The thing was... <laughs> They'd be like, show me your piece. At you're that like, time eh. that I went, it was kind of like midday. Mm-hmm. Didn't see a whole lot of people. Yeah. But I did Just, see two kids see, like, walking. Delivery drivers. Like two teenagers. And I was like, okay, yeah. they're doing it. I'm probably fine. Daytime is like tree trimmers and delivery drivers. Yeah. There was a lot of like people working on things. Yeah. So, yeah. Got I actually saw this... This yesterday morning, I was up early and I had to go somewhere, and I saw this kid look like he was doing his morning run, like he was running. Mm-hmm. And he was like sweating in his water bottle, and then he like took a little break. Mm-hmm. I was like, he's training for something, and he was like young. Yeah, they do. They yeah. train for like co- cross, cross country. country. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I think he was. Yeah. So anyway, that is my sort new of life thing. update. Yeah, you're walking. I feel like I have a few life updates, but that's for that's one of you them. You got another one? Well, you got new latte cups. I have new latte cups <laughs> with my new straws. Very cute. If you can see. Super cute. Love it. Um, yeah. I don't know. I haven't decided on all my other life updates. Okay. Yeah. I understand. I can't really think of a life update too much, but I did do some light rearranging. It started with Peter. He... Uh, called out from his office he's like i'm doing interior design in here <laughs> i was like wait what are you doing so i of course like poked my head in he's like rearranging his office to have like a desk set up which actually looks really cool yeah and kind of inspired cool. our table today but um yeah so he was rearranging in there and he had had these two big oversized chairs in there mm-hmm. um but with the way he rearranged it it there just wasn't enough room to make the chairs work anymore. I mean, maybe there was, but you'd have to really work for it. Yeah. So I was like, mm, maybe I can help myself to these chairs. So I thought, let me try and like rearrange some stuff in my room. Um, so I brought the chairs into my room. I had these big Sherpa chairs. Mm-hmm. So I switched those out and I brought the other chairs into my room. And I did a few other things. Oh, I got a new duvet yeah. set. And some new pillows. And um, I had recently made a fig tree. 
and I found a new like big pot for it so it looks bigger and taller and everything kind of put that in there so it's fun I've been wanting to do like a little refresh on my room so I love when you can repurpose yeah it's like the chairs around the house yeah Yeah, that's one of my favorite things to do to another place and the room is different now you know exactly and something that didn't quite go in one room like goes so much better in another room right. and you're like wow you just had to like, try it out amazing move some things. you just got to find the right place for yeah. it yeah yeah exactly. so if you've ever been feeling like i don't know i don't want to mess it up i can't use these somewhere else like just try it like yeah. you could always move it back if you really hate it it's very true but it's okay like take you know 30 minutes one day and try it out yeah <laughs> it's a little bit of a hassle but you never know what you'll find. It might be really great. So That's true. I don't know. Just try tweaking stuff, moving it around. Tweaking. tweaking. <laughs> so. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I think I was going to say something else, but I don't remember. Mm, gone. And then I move one of my Sherpa chairs over here. Yeah. I'm gonna, very excited about we're it. We're going to see how that looks. It's going to be goes. comfy. Yeah. I think yeah. it'll be good. I think it'll look good. Yeah. I maybe agree. need to get like a different color pillow, something to shove. Yeah, just to add some more color or something. Yeah. But yeah, should be good. We got this. Yeah, yeah, cool. So, so a lot of rearranging around here. Yeah, a lot of things. Yeah, but it's all good. Yeah, we're on our podcast kick. This is our second one in a week. Yeah, so that's good. I mean, yeah. it is a video, so it's a little slightly different. Yeah, but we. We were on a roll for a while. We were just we like were. knocking them out. And then there we was got, a stint where we did two a day. Yeah. And we were getting so far ahead. We but did. like we were talking about stuff that would happen three months. Exactly. <laughs> that day. We're like, oh, it's kind of difficult to keep up and then not say like, because then you don't have life updates. Because exactly. You're like, it just turned spring and it's like, like summer. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you're like, okay. So in one way, it's okay. Yeah. It now we're a little out. bit ahead. Like, yeah. Yeah. As long as we can keep like that little bit of space yeah, because buffer. then you're never like, oh, we have to record, which yeah. was recently. I think we had to do that. Yeah. We we're like, it's for tomorrow. <laughs> I know. So, it was one of our freshest. Yeah. So. Yeah. Is that your toe? Is your shoe? No. It's okay. Just, my, my feet are <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> so we're, yeah. we're getting, yeah. we're back at it. Today, we want to talk about love bombing. Here we, we go. It would be a fun topic yeah do you want to read us what love bombing is all right love bombing is a tactic in which someone bombs you with extreme displays of attention and affection with the intent to manipulate you although being showered with love can seem positive at the beginning of a romantic relationship love bombing can lead to gaslighting and abuse that's loaded love bombing kind of sounds like well that can't be bad right Ooh. It's like they come in so fast yeah. and so hard you don't have time to think. Yeah. Like even if you are a rational person, mm-hmm. it's so fast that you don't even have time to process it. Yes. And I think too, especially if you come from relationships or past places where it felt like they took so long to figure out they liked you. Yeah. Or... You want it to yeah, be fast. Yeah. You kind of want it to be fast in a sense. Like... Maybe there's some insecurities there. Yeah. I think a lot of times if you're really like having some type of insecurity or you're not confident in finding someone yeah. that is actually like a good catch, then you do settle a lot more. Yeah. And so that is where I feel like those people are very vulnerable to the situation, mm-hmm. but you're also very vulnerable to the situation if you're like, well, I don't want to just you know think that it's bad just because they're coming in hot and they like me so much like mm-hmm. maybe it's all right and so you're kind of like questioning a little bit but mm-hmm. then you're not sure and so mm-hmm. there's a whole lot of reasons but beware of the love bombers out there have you ever been bombed i'm trying to think if i've ever been love bombed i don't think so see i feel like tell me if i'm wrong which i guess maybe it's just not love bombing But I feel like a lot of people come in this hot. Yeah. Especially in like Christian circles. Yes. And they're like, God told me. Oh, yeah. And you're like, you know. Yes. 
and it's definitely bombing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. But I think I've been like not always LeBombed. maybe with the intention to like, oh, I'm trying to manipulate them, but it is like I'm coming in and I'm literally bombing you. Yeah. And it's not smart and it's not wise to like put all of this and make it so high stakes you yeah. know, for somebody all up front. Right. But I do feel like people maybe unintentionally bomb sometimes too. Yes. And I think there's also the people like that can get love bombed and they're freaked out by it. Oh, yeah. You know, and they start to like question it. Yeah. But they're trying to give it a chance. Yeah. And they're trying so, to be polite about yeah, it. Yeah. Or... And they're like, I don't know. Is this like not yeah. normal? Actually, like someone who I know recently had this experience. And, yeah. And they were like texting me like, is this like too much? Like, what do you think? Because like, it's yeah. not like I'm opposed to them. But also, I'm a little Just because I out. don't know them. Yeah. I'm like, that's a little much. Yeah. And so I was like, you know, maybe. But I also didn't know the extent of it at the time. But I was yeah. like, I maybe just give them a chance. Like, yeah. maybe it's not that big deal. Some guys you'll, do come It's in like, oh, you'll know in a couple weeks. You know, you'll exactly. know after a date or two right. or something. Because also there's, so there's love bombing, which is, I think, the extreme. And then there's kind of that middle ground where... Yeah. There's some guys that just, you know that they like you more than you like them Mm -hmm. at first, Mm -hmm. (laughs) you know, and you need a little more time. Mm -hmm. They've been thinking about it Mm -hmm. for probably weeks, months before they ask you out. And they're like, (laughs) they're plotting, like how to ask her out or like I'm talking to her or whatever. And so by the time they've asked you out, they know that they like you. Yeah. You, on the other hand, maybe just thought about this. Yeah. Like, you may have not just been thinking, oh, I hope he asked me out. You may have just been like, oh, he's cool. Like, I don't know. And then yeah. all of a sudden, they ask you out. And you're like, oh, now I have to figure out if I like them. Yeah. So that, to me, is not love bombing. That's just, like, kind of adjusting. Yeah. <laughs> but the love bombing is, like, I am, like, ready to marry you now like Mm -hmm. you are what i've been hoping and praying for Mm -hmm. you're the girl i've been dreaming of Mm -hmm. and never met before like just coming out of the gate with Mm -hmm. these extreme things and you're like you don't even know me Mm -hmm. like you just met me Mm -hmm. (laughs) you know Mm -hmm. so that to me you gotta with everything obviously Mm -hmm. you gotta know like where's the middle ground Mm -hmm. the balance Mm -hmm. so yeah it's super sus. What do you think happens as a result of somebody like never slowing down enough to process it? I think it's just super scary and would lead, in, lead yeah. into a really bad situation where you're like trapped, right? Absolutely. So actually, I have a little something that says here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so they're saying like at first mm-hmm. you can think, oh, this is great. Like I mm-hmm. love it. And it can seem like it's genuine and it's great. Mm-hmm. However, it can lead to mm-hmm. later on mm-hmm. abuse because they're always like, well, where are you? I want to spend time with you always. But it's really just to kind of control where you're at and what you're doing. And they want you to always be available. It's mm-hmm. not just like this genuine, like, I want to be with you. Like, I, I love being with you. It's like mm-hmm. a control factor, hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. So I think it can easily turn into, well, you know, because it's kind of like how you kind of like Stockholm syndrome, you know, yeah. like eventually you come to the place because you've, you've given into it. You've mm-hmm. given in to the love bombing. So now you're like, you're also in love. Mm-hmm. So it's these highs of emotions. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay. And then you get used to these highs of emotion. Mm-hmm. So that's what you think is normal. So it's either we're love bombing mm-hmm. or we're fighting and we're calling each other names. Mm-hmm. It's always this high. There's never this middle. Yeah. And you're always in a fight. And I think you can easily get into the place where that to you is love. Yeah. And it's a distortion of love. It's not true love. Yeah. But you think, oh, well, if we're not fighting or if we're not love bombing, we're not doing well. Yeah. And it's it's really distorted in your mind. And really, things should be more level. <laughs> you yeah. should be able to have normal conversation. There shouldn't be drama constantly. Yeah. Like, that is not a normal thing. If you yeah. constantly are having fights or drama, mm-hmm. you need to question that. Mm-hmm. I think. Yeah. Would you agree? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, how do you, you know, tactfully get yourself out of a situation when it's like that? I just want to say, yeah. like, if somebody, if you, if you come into a relationship and somebody's trying to go, like, so fast, yeah. like, pump the brakes. Like, yeah. even if it did come from God, like, mm-hmm. it's okay to wait. Absolutely. So, like, you know, 
I don't know, if somebody's pressuring you like mm-hmm. Luke and Lorelai, just <laughs> yeah. don't do it. <laughs> Even did. Although mm-hmm. they were at a point where it wasn't like the first date or something. No. You know, it was like an hour and everything, but it wasn't like the first. Yeah. The first night, you know. Right. Here's where I think people get trapped, though, is they, you know, it is really smart and wise to have people in your life that you can bounce things off of you can mm-hmm. talk to a lot of times i think people get in relationships they isolate and they don't talk to anybody yeah and they don't have a soundboard they, they might not be themselves. allowed to talk to anybody at that point that also yeah. that's a big red flag yeah you need to know like if they are constantly cutting you off from <clears throat> friendships or relationships or family members mm-hmm. that is not good mm-hmm it's the start of a manipulative relationship. Mm-hmm. And so that's why I'm like, I know you want it to work. And I know we can be like in a desperate situation sometimes where we're like, I just want this to work. And I mm-hmm. don't, I'm too scared to tell you the bad things because I don't want you to tell me that it's not good. Yeah. You know, so you hide it from people. Totally. But man, you will be in a bad place if you do that. Yeah. It's so important to have wise counsel. Maybe it's not everybody. Yeah. And maybe it's not every friend you have. Yeah. Maybe it's not every family member you have. But you need to have some people that you can bounce these things off of. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, you know, and, and you know that they're going to be there for you and not just like, mm-hmm. oh, that's horrible. You need to break up with them. Like, mm-hmm. they need to be reasonable and rational mm-hmm. because maybe it's not that big of a deal. Mm-hmm. But what if it is? And you, you need to be able to go to that person and say, hey, this has been going on. Do you think that's normal? Yeah. What do you think? Like, Because yeah. you can't just automatically or you shouldn't automatically just be like, whatever i'm gonna marry them yeah because i want to be with them yeah it's like you have to think about the future you have to think down the road don't just think right here Mm -hmm. think future you know (laughs) what is this gonna be like because Mm -hmm. that we've said this many a times Mm -hmm. but the things you see now are not necessarily going to change yeah they're not (laughs) so if you don't like it now yeah think about that yeah it's not just one day oh, we got married, so it magically went away. Mm-hmm. If anything, it's going to get worse. Yeah. So, It'll get more pronounced. Exactly. If so, yeah. You think that person's controlling now? Right. Get married. Yeah. You know, like, that's just not going to be a good time. Yeah. <laughs> what I want to know is, like, and maybe I just don't understand crazy people yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> narcissists whatever you want to call absolutely. them absolutely maybe i just don't understand them but like how do they know that this like how do they know these tactics how do they right. know what to do how do they know it's going to work on you so true or do they just give it a shot and like whoever responds well they know they can exactly. play with i don't know i wonder that too be- and then like if you come across someone that doesn't fall for it and then they start like exposing you Mm -hmm. that or yeah you know i know (laughs) so i'm like did they just have it happen to them and now they know how to do it you know right or it's like what's their goal you know what do they literally exactly what do you want with like do you you just want full control of someone like what is it what does that need what causes that need i I have so many questions so many questions so many questions but one is like how do you know it's gonna work like, how can you just willy-nilly get on a dating app Take and a think, risk. I'm going to just cold call this person and tell them I'm ready to, like, I could see myself with them. Yeah. And, like, come in so hard and... I think you what? do it and you hope for the best. <laughs> do you think females do this? For sure. Yeah. 100%. I can think of one. In a different way, I think... Like, I don't know if it's... by the way, none of you. <laughs> Not necessarily... I don't know. I feel like they go about it different. Or two. You know? But because for girls, mm-hmm. and maybe I'm wrong about this, but I think for girls, it's all... Yes, we're, of course, want to be attracted to the person. Mm-hmm. But what we hear and what we're told is usually what warms the heart. I feel like uh, girls... They'll still do it, but, like, they make it seem like they need you yeah. mm-hmm. to be around. Yeah. There's They're also, not like... okay without you. The sexual oh. essence. <laughs> yeah. Well, absolutely. But it's not necessarily, like, where are you going, blah, blah, blah. It's, like, yeah. I need you here. 
I need you at home. I need you in my reach. Yes. I don't trust you with them. I, you know what I mean? It's, it's almost a like little bit more bombing. Yeah. But it's like, it's not like I'm controlling you. It's like, I need you so much. I'm not okay. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know? And like, they, the, the guy feels like they're needed, like they're the man. Yeah. And in both scenarios, I feel like it can usually, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Play on something that's already in there mm-hmm. for a person. Like mm-hmm. a guy maybe never felt like they were needed. Mm-hmm. and Or there's an insecurity in there. Mm-hmm. Like maybe I'm not the person that gets everything done or I don't mm-hmm. do all this stuff. Mm-hmm. And so the girl comes in mm-hmm. and they feel like the man, they feel like they're needed. And they're like, oh, I like this feeling. Mm-hmm. Whether it's good or bad, you know? Right. <clears throat> and that's something you have to kind of always looking inward to that's where i'm like do the girls who do this know what they're doing do they know what they're doing or are they just doing it i would think there's a mixture like do they just know you know Mm -hmm. i feel like sometimes maybe guys know like i want to kind of trap her yeah (laughs) but like does a girl want to do that or is she just like i i don't know I think there's a mixture. I think there's some like you just you really want this relationship. Yeah. But then you get desperate to like hang on to it. Yeah. So then you like lay out ultimatums and all the stuff to like keep them close. So you know what's interesting? Or you just can't help yourself. Okay. Can I tell you this interesting thing? Because I feel like sometimes it's like I can't help myself but to be codependent. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Let me tell you this interesting story that I heard. I saw this guy. Or is it like I'm a mastermind? It, it could go either way. It could. I think personally it's both. I think you have some that are, mm-hmm. they don't know what they're doing, but they've been in this pattern of doing it for so long that it's just natural. Mm-hmm. And then there's the people that know what they're doing and they're doing it for a reason and a purpose. Mm-hmm. But, okay. So I wasn't quite sure how to like think about this or decipher this, okay. but there's something to it. Okay. So recently I saw this TikTok and this guy was talking about how he went to I don't know if he was like a psychologist or what, but he was analyzing this situation that he was in. And he said he had two friends. Mm -hmm. They're both girls, equally beautiful, equally Mm -hmm. like on the same level in every way. Okay. They went to a bar, of course. And one girl. He's just following them with a camera or what? No, no, no. He's he's just telling the story verbally. He's not. He's like sitting down like a suit on talking. Okay. And he's like, one of the girls at the place they went was getting hit on left and right. Okay. While the other one was not. And he was like, that is interesting because one of them, mm-hmm. very secure in herself. The other one mm-hmm. has a lot of insecurities and has like past hurts with like her dad yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. And he was like, there's something about, and he used the word energy. I would say it's even more spiritual. Sure. Like you, there's something that you give off mm-hmm. if you're not healed in certain areas. Mm-hmm. And that girl... Mm-hmm people like guys were coming up to her because they could feel that like insecurity or like it's easy. Wait, wait, wait. The insecurity one was getting hit on? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, snap. The confident one was not because he was thinking, his point was that because there was this confidence kind of coming off of her, oh. they were too intimidated. So only the right guys are going to come after that one. Well, every guy who's also equally insecure or a jerk is going to come after the one that's giving off the insecurity. And I'm like, I've seen that happen in real life. Wow. And I was like, that is an interesting thing. And I don't know why it is, but there is something that like people feel like they know. And so I kind of wonder in situations like this. So you can sniff out, oh, this is an easy target for me. Some people sniff it out. And so they're like, Mm -hmm. I know how... Or like two insecure people to find each other. To the degree that I am overly cocky or manipulative is the degree that you're insecure. So this could work. Exactly. Like I've seen situations like that where the guy. Sometimes they gauge wrong and then they regret what they exactly. got. Exactly. <laughs> but I've seen it where the guy goes after this sweet kind mm-hmm. but has some insecurities about herself. And maybe mm-hmm. you wouldn't even know it right. without knowing it. Mm-hmm. But you know it kind of thing. Yeah. And they suss it out. And Mm -hmm. they end up getting in a bad relationship like this. Mm -hmm. And that is just something so interesting to me. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how it works exactly. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, they really do sniff it out. Mm -hmm. 
And I think that's how a lot of people find themselves in these situations. And then there's obviously others where they don't have enough information. Mm -hmm. And when they get the information, then they're able to be like, okay, heck to the no, I'm not doing this, you know? Yeah. Which is kind of brings us to the story of why we even wanted to talk about this. (laughs) (laughs) We just had such an interesting case Mm -hmm. on our hands. We did. and About we... a foiled attempt at love bombing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Pretty wild. We won't name names. No, they wrote We're in. keeping this person they, anonymous. They, yeah, they wanted us to know about But it's situation. a pretty wild story. Yeah. They essentially got on a dating app. Yeah. And this guy reaches out to them, mm-hmm. starts messaging them, and starts instantly love bombing. Yes. Like going wild like pretty much all the things that we kind of already said (laughs) as references like you're what i've been looking for and i'm only dating for marriage and i can see this happening and yeah you are so beautiful and like sending random texts like you know what i'm thinking about you (laughs) Mm -hmm. things that would make you cringe you know when you think about it right now and so the person and i kind of mentioned this earlier this is the one that but you're like, okay, like, go off. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> why? Like, maybe you're kind of like, it's not that bad. You're like, maybe I'm not seeing something. Exactly. You're like, is it me? Like, what's going on? I'm not feeling like this right away, but like. Maybe that's normal. Am I, I don't know. Do I just need to give it time? Right. Maybe I'll feel the same way. Like, maybe I just don't see it yet. Huh. Exactly. Yeah. Cause, yeah. And they're like. You know, I know other people, like, the guy liked them more at first, so maybe it's kind of that situation. Mm -hmm. But the guy was continuing to just say all these things. This was not a long scenario either, right? No, it was in a matter of three days, probably. (laughs) The person wanted to drive out to where they were. I think they lived about 30 minutes away. Oh, just kidding. I thought it was a different state. Okay. No, I don't think so. Um they wanted to drive out and come, like, meet them right away and, like, on a date and everything. Which, again, like, maybe that's not that weird. Okay. Like, just want to go on a date. Like, sure. take me on a date. Okay, great. So, trying to give the benefit of the doubt, you know, <laughs> maybe this guy isn't crazy. Mm-hmm. Well, then things take a little turn. Right. And also, this person seemed to have, like, enough clout in certain circles sure so they were kind of thinking okay maybe i don't need to go research them right away yeah yeah because they come in with like all these church circle people sure yeah yeah where you're like okay there other people are vouching exactly that's all i need to see i guess yes i don't really need to go hard on the research yet exactly which just always do the research. Do the research. If there's any lesson to be learned here. Mm-hmm. So eventually, I think it was like three days in, the person who's in the situation decides, I need to look this person up. Oh, this was why. Because yeah. he was texting a lot. Yeah. And then it was kind of ghost city for a second. Yeah. she was, it was suspicious. I think what she said was any time that he was reaching out, like – she would respond back and then he'd respond immediately. Yeah. You know? And anytime he had an issue, he'd be like, I'll call you right now. Yeah. And then he was like, oh, I'll be driving or something. Mm-hmm. Like, you can give me a call or whatever. And anytime she would reach out, it would go straight to voicemail. Yeah. Or like, he would like ghost the her for hours. Was sus. And she was like, wait a second. Yeah. Do I need to like... Things were just on? giving her some red flags, some checks. Yeah. Like, all right, something's not yeah. right. Something's off. Yeah. So she decided to go to Facebook and mm-hmm. look this guy up. Mm-hmm. Now, the crazy part of what I'm about to tell you is that he was not private. <laughs> not even using a fake name. Not even a fake name. Like the boldness. Because turns out this guy was married. With, did he have kids? Or is he just I married? Don't know. No, mar- married three I kids. Think, no. Yeah, I think he's just married. <laughs> To a woman, has pictures with her on Facebook. Recent. Like, not even trying to hide it. No. Yet he's on a. Like, using the same picture app. for the dating app. Like, <laughs> exactly. What are you doing? And all of a sudden, she's like, what the heck? I've yeah. been talking to this guy. Yeah. Who's married. Married. He's a con artist. Yeah. So then. 
Yeah. I think she starts kind of like ghosting him. Or blocking or I don't know. I don't think she blocked him at that point because then she was like, I'm going to reach out to the wife. Yeah. To let her know yeah. that your husband is cheating on you. Like he's on a dating app and trying to talk to their women. Mm-hmm. Well, then she does that and the feedback was so weird. She's yeah. like, her response was like, um, he, uh, no, that's not him. He's been with me all week. He's been in the ER. Yeah. Like, sus stuff. Yeah. So not like none of the story is yeah. making sense. Not at all. He's suspicious. She's like, is she also on this con artist track with I him? Know. Like, are they I don't playing? understand that. So then I'm like, what are they, what were they wanting? Was he wanting Literally. money? Like, well, do you, yeah. What was he doing? He's like, uh, I want to buy you an engagement ring. Here's the one I want to buy. Exactly. If Can you, you pay for it? Buy it and <laughs> yeah. mail it to me. I don't know. What's your next step? Exactly. Then she continues on with the research. Come to find out, this guy has like a criminal record. <sighs> Potentially sex offender. Yeah. Like crazy. So Super he's married. Sex. I want to take, take him down. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> then she started pulling up videos of him and stuff. It got worse and worse and we worse. We kept seeing but stuff and we're like, oh. At yeah, the end this of the is... day, we're like, we got to talk about this. Yeah. Because <laughs> I do think like this stuff happens to people and it. No doubt. I mean, maybe you're just mentally ill in the first place and you're like, Seems I like have it. the audacity to try <laughs> yeah. this and I think it's going to work. Like maybe yeah. it's just mentally mentally ill i think second of all maybe you're manipulative maybe you're an abuser maybe you're yeah up to no good (laughs) no good (laughs) i'm like i don't know if the wife is in on it or if she is that gaslighted by this dude that to being like no honey i was in the hospital fighting for my life this week and she's like i guess you were you know literally when this is staring you in the face and that begs the question, like, was he I don't so good that he literally faked an ER time? Like, <laughs> he I don't know. Might How have. deep does this thing go? Because then she found more on the internet that was, like, a, f- a whole board of things where, like, well, apparently, do- he does this all the time. Apparently, there are uh, websites that you can go to to, like, Suss post things out about bad exes, <laughs> we found. Who knew? Yeah. And he was on it. He was on it. And people, ha- even people his were sister-in-law warning. was saying something. We're going real deep. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, bad dude. So maybe so, he starts bombing you. Just, just take a break. Yeah. Because if they really want you, they'll do what Matthew did to you. Exactly. And said, cool, you're worth the wait. Like, yes. I'll take, take as long as you need. Right. Because be I even had told I her, like you. I'm, you know. Like, tell him, you know, maybe you're not moving as fast as him. Like, yeah. maybe you need to slow it down. Like, chill out a little bit. Yeah, you but know? like, I need to see you in person first. Yeah. Dude, I never online dated. But yeah. like, seeing somebody's picture online and seeing them in person is ah! a jump scare. Because people oh, present yeah. differently online. Oh, okay? yeah. Okay, you know they're picking the picture where they are the tallest. The smallest. <laughs> the tallest, the smallest. <laughs> Or where all their teeth look like they're in the right place. I just don't know. I don't even know how to explain it. But like, oh, yeah. you don't see everything you need to see unless you see them in person. So like... This is why catfishing is do Do not make any decisions about how you feel about somebody until you meet them. Yeah. For sure. Because because you then you romanticize over what they've said on their profile or their mm-hmm. picture mm-hmm. and you don't know Mm-mm. again or they're using a really old picture <laughs> a crush is a lack of information yeah <laughs> like it literally is it's yeah. the truest statement i've ever heard heard it from someone else yeah. and like that is so true yeah because you can romanticize and like fixate on certain things and think this person's one way yeah and then you get to know them and you're like that was the yeah. absolute opposite yeah So you really have to get your facts together. Yeah. You got to check up on things. Yeah. Like, do not put it off. Always do your research. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I feel like it's best Mm -hmm. if you know at least one person that knows that person Mm -hmm. because you have someone to vouch or something for them. It's, that's better than nothing. Yeah. (laughs) But sometimes they're not giving the same thing to other people as they are to to a romantic relationship. That because true. they're being bad to you, but they're being great to everybody else. That's true. But sometimes 
Sometimes that's not the case. And sometimes they're the really opposite. bad and everybody can see it. Or they're the opposite. They're bad to everybody else and great to you. Yeah. And you are fixated on how great they are, but really that's not who they are. Yeah. And if they're just great to you, how long is that going to last? Yeah. Eventually they're going to get tired of you too. Totally. You know? So there's just a lot of factors that you have to take into account. Mm-hmm. If what you're seeing right now is not good, mm-hmm. remember that. Think mm-hmm. about that. Like, yeah. th- again, it won't change. Yeah. Without a miracle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, even then. You then. I mean, even then, you shouldn't expect the miracle <laughs> to work all the time. You're not going to, not everybody's going to have the miracle and that changes them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not everybody's gonna... not because they can't because they don't want it. Yeah, they they don't even know they need to change. Yeah, they like who they are, or they like the power that they get from manipulating other people. That too, you know. There's a lot of different things. Also, I think something that's super important that you need to look for is someone that is willing to say I'm sorry, mm-hmm. because there's a lot of like manipulators, narcissists out there mm-hmm. that it's always your fault. Mm-hmm. You're always the problem. You're always the one doing the things. Mm -hmm. And it's never them coming back and saying, I'm so sorry I treated you that way. Yeah. Or you'll have the situations where they have done something. They know that they're wrong. They Mm -hmm. still won't apologize. But they'll start, in a sense, it's love bombing. They start bringing you your favorite things or giving you your favorite meals or being super nice to you or taking interest in things mm-hmm. you like mm-hmm. to try to make the situation better so that you almost guilt you into like yes ha- but that I've is been not nothing but good to you an apology yeah that is not it's a not, change yeah. of heart it's like regrooming you it is and it because then it takes your guard down again you're like okay there's being really nice but really what you need is an apology yeah a talk Mm-hmm. To talk things out in a uh, normal, nice manner. It does, mm-hmm. like, doesn't need to constantly be a fight. doesn't need mm-hmm. to constantly be yelling, you know? Mm-hmm. So there's just some factors to take into account in relationships. Yeah. Especially Listen, if you ones. have hesitancy, <laughs> like, that could save your life. Run. Yeah. If you have hesitancy, like, pay attention to your hesitancy. Yes. And don't let people say, like, no, now or never. Exactly. No. If you don't choose me right now, I'm gone. It's like, okay, well, then let them leave. Yes. It's probably best. Yeah. And also, don't be in the desperate spot where you think, I have to be in this, whether it's Mm -hmm. good or bad, because Mm -hmm. there's no one else out there for me. It's like, okay, so (laughs) I don't know if people do this that much these days because it's a digital world and people pay digitally and all this stuff there are other ways to scam you but back in the day like counterfeiters yeah. would try to do like like a quick change artist so they would give you like a ten dollar bill and be like can i get um like a five and five ones and so you'd be giving them five and five ones and they're like oh wait, wait wait no hold on let me give you five more give me uh i need a ten and five ones or something uh-huh. yeah um and and you're like lost in what you're trying to like dish out to them yeah but they're they're mixing it up on you and they're like wait 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 no no i said i need 10 ones to, and three fives uh-huh. and then like you're giving them back more than what they gave you but yeah. you just got lost because they kept coming in you Confusing with different you. bills and telling you what they need and it's kind of like that because you're trying to go so fast and like confuse them and yeah. like throw them off that you know they don't have enough time to process what's going on Mm -hmm. so it's kind of the same tactic yeah it's to come in and be like i need this 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 this. right i'm here i'm you know move Mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's like do you know that you're being manipulated right like when you're being manipulated how easy is it to know yeah because sometimes you Again, I think also we gaslight ourselves because mm-hmm. we're like, maybe I'm being too sensitive or mm-hmm. maybe I'm reading into this or mm-hmm. maybe that's not a big deal. And then if someone else were to tell you that same story, you'd be like, get out of there, run. Like, that's mm-hmm. manipulative. That's terrible. Mm-hmm. But we always will kind of convince ourselves that things are better than they are. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. I think sometimes that can happen. And so that's again why it's important to have mm-hmm. a soundboard yeah. have people especially this is what i think when you really are serious yeah about wanting to be with the right person you, about getting married yeah you don't hide a thing yeah you don't isolate 
Yeah. You don't keep the secrets. You expose it all because you're like, I want to know as quick as possible. Right. I mean, that's what happened when I, like, when me and Matthew got in a relationship, I was like, all right, guys, like, what do you think? Like, Mm -hmm. what are we thinking? Like, you're Mm going to meet my family right away because I want them to know Mm -hmm. yes or no. Mm -hmm. They're going to (laughs) know, you know? Right. And thankfully, it was all across the board, like, amazing. Mm -hmm. But hadn't been that way in the past. Right. And that's when you know sums off, when things are secretive, when people are isolating like, I'm so sorry. You may think that's the best thing in the world and that keeping these secrets is best for you. But that, I've just never seen that work. I've mm-hmm. never seen that be a good thing. It's mm-hmm. always a red flag in the direction of that is not a great relationship. And mm-hmm. people see it. That's the funny part. You think you're hiding it. Mm-hmm. You think you're isolating. You think you're being so sneaky, mm-hmm. so good. You think you are. Nobody knows. Mm-hmm. They all know. Mm-hmm. We, we all know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we see it. Mm-hmm. We literally see it. So you might as well not hide it. Yeah. You know, that's that's what I think. I agree. What about for <laughs> girls? What about them? Nah, I mean, I just think they're a different kind of, they're a different breed of manipulators. Yes. So like, talk to the guys out there. <sighs> that's a tough one. What part. do you watch out for <laughs> with a girl who's um, trying to... Okay, this might be a hot take. Might be controversial. Yeah, why not? If I... Okay, I'm not trying to be, like, old school, okay? But I am the girl that, like, I want to be pursued. Yeah. I don't want to pursue the guy. Yeah. If I'm doing all the work, it ain't for me, okay? So, for me, I feel like the ones that I've seen be problematic is when the girl is doing the main pursuing. Mm. The girl's doing all the Mm. work. They're going after the guy hard. Mm. And the guy falls into it. He's like, okay. Yeah, he's like, I'm not even doing anything. They really like me. Maybe they've felt rejection in the past. And Uh all of a sudden, this girl is just after them. Like, why aren't you asking me out? You flirt with me all the time. I know you like me. You know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And then they're in a full-blown relationship. Mm. The girl... Again, it, it continues into the relationship. The girl's all over them, you mm-hmm. know? And then eventually, sometimes, not always, but I have seen this, mm-hmm. the guy kind of wakes up and is like, whoa, 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 this was too fast for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think I'm into this. Mm-hmm. Maybe you, you aren't what I thought I wanted, you know? Mm-hmm. And they end up breaking up and it's a whole big thing. Mm-hmm. Or they keep continue and they're like, I don't know why I don't know, <laughs> you know? Or they're like, hey, what if we slow it down? And then they're like, Hate yeah you know yeah and then let them you and, try to break up with them and it's yeah. just like kind of manipulative or all you know whatever and yeah. so i think that's a big one that's what i've seen happen before where it's just like the girl is heavy in pursuing that person and the guy falls into it because He's I'm like, sorry, I'm, but I'm just chilling here. I'm down for a ride, but yeah. Like, do you? He's like, wait, where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> like, do you want to not be insecure in your relationship? Yeah. Then don't be the pursuer. Yeah. Like talking to the girls. Yeah. Because if you started this, mm-hmm. you're gonna constantly go back to, mm-hmm. did they really want to be with me? Right. That's why I think you want the guy to be the one that makes the decision to have the bold move to pursue you. Yeah. There's something about it. Yeah. It feels good. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying don't do anything. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm all about if, you know, you're hanging out at somewhere and you walk up to, like, you've been seeing the guy around. Mm-hmm. He's maybe come up to you a couple of times. Make a move, too. Like, go up to him and talk to him because mm-hmm. maybe he needs that little bit of encouragement. But, like, don't you don't need to be going, like, why haven't you asked me out yet? <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. like, that's just, mm-hmm. let it be his idea if he wants to. He will. That's what girls don't realize. Yeah. They think, oh, he's just like, no. When they want yeah. to, you'll know. If they, when they like you, you'll know. When they don't, you'll be confused. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. So, I don't know. That's kind of one of the big ones I've seen. Sheesh. If they don't like you, you're confused. Mm-hmm. I heard someone say that. And I was like, that is accurate yeah. to the extreme. I know. I'm getting, I'm getting shocked over here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's just good. It's true stuff. This is good. True statements. You know, I've seen a lot of things in my life, my young life. 
32 years. My own time. <laughs> and there's nothing new under the sun. Now, let me take this one step further. I don't know. I don't quite know the Taylor Swift song Mastermind. Yeah. But she's kind of toy, like toying with the mm-hmm. of like, what if I'm a mastermind? Yeah. I, you didn't meet me by accident and all mm-hmm. this stuff. Like I set it up. Yeah. Do you think there are girls doing stuff like that? 100%. And I do. Yeah. I think so. S- making everything fall into place. and Probably. Just happenstance. And is that the same thing as love bombing? Like setting up a perfect scenario where you fall in love with me. Huh. I guess it depends on how extreme we're talking. You know? Because like if you're just setting up a hangout mm-hmm. and you invite that person. Yeah. That's not necessarily... Yeah. A big deal or like showing up because you know they'll be there yeah now i'm not gonna name names but there is a cel- <laughs> <laughs> there's a celebrity out there uh-huh. that yeah it has been told legend has it that they acted like they didn't know this person but they were literally wearing the perfume that their dead mother wore that i mean that's pretty mastermindy <laughs> to me I was going to say, that, that tells you who it is. <laughs> does it? I mean, well, does if you it? know. Oh, yeah. Then you already know. know. Yeah. But if you don't, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, that's mas- like that's a straight up mastermind right there. Absolutely. Like, you're saying the same things. Like, you're interested in the same things just yeah. because you want them to like you. Like, you have yeah. to be yourself. Like, don't yeah. lie to make someone like you. Then yeah. they don't like you. Yeah. They like the fake you. Right. You know? So it's just important in every aspect to be honest. And the support, I feel so bad for like the people who get catfished. Because whoever's photos (laughs) that the person was stealing, like they really did like fall in love with them. them. But then if they ever meet them in person, they don't know who they are. And And they hear their voice. Dead in the eyes. And they're like, yeah. Oh. That is rough. Or you find out they're married. Or they're already. a man or something. No, well, like, <laughs> it's usually like they're married with somebody oh. else living happily. And they just you were in love with them, but like Ugh. they didn't know you existed. That is <sighs> crazy. Catfishing is the worst. Yeah, it it's is. It's pretty sad. And you're on those, it's like, what were they trying to get out of it? Because like, what was their end goal? Because you know that you're going to have to eventually be like, this is not my face. So is, right? it, is it the, the thrill of the hunt? <laughs> I don't know if it's the thrill of the hunt as much as like maybe this person cannot get somebody in real life. So they yeah. want to get to live their fantasy world. Yeah. Just like feel the intention, the attention, the, yeah. the love, yeah, the sweet comments. Even if it's not for you, it feels good. I don't know. Yeah. That's crazy Ugh. to me. It's pretty wild. But it happens. There's a whole show about it. Yeah, I know. I mean, the dude that created it literally got catfished. I know. That's why he made it. That is so rough. That's pretty sad. Now he knows. He's like, if their camera doesn't work, they're catfishing you. Exactly. (laughs) Because whose camera doesn't work? Yeah. Get a camera. Yeah. Make it work. Yeah. Or if they can never talk on the phone or whatever. Exactly. He's like, no. Thankfully, I've never been catfished. No. But people still... You could be hat fished. No, you could be. It's like where you just you you pretend to look really good online, oh. and then you get in person. You're like, you're missing teeth. Yes, you know, like okay, like the AI pictures people are putting up there. That's gonna be so rough. Have you they're seen? gonna think they're gonna go out with a supermodel, and exactly. then it's like, have you seen the people have made some TikToks where they're like um, AI interviews. And, like, their headshots are, like, all these, <laughs> Gorgeous. like, so amazing. Yeah. And then they're, like, oh, hey. <laughs> like, yeah. that's not who I yeah. thought you were. Oh, my gosh. But imagine dates, too. Like, yeah. that would be. I'm sure somebody's going to use the AI thing. Because I remember with Snapchat filters. Oh, yeah. People would use them oh, yeah. for posts. And, like, yeah. you know it's obvious that we can all tell that's like, a filter. That's not still you. That. It's not just Snapchat. I'm, like, you don't look like this. No. In person. I mean, celebrities do it. They do the whole they like, do, like the rosy nose and the rosy they thin cheeks. themselves out. Then, yeah, body distortion. I'm like yeah. clearest face ever. They don't look like that. No, they don't. Okay, so they're catfishing Go off, us all. But <laughs> we're all thinking we gotta look like that or whatever. They yeah. don't even look like that. So maybe they think they look like that. 
there's probably some maybe they're like yeah absolutely yeah i mean yeah for sure everyone's changing themselves Mm -hmm. it's like this is what i want to see in my mind's eye Mm -hmm. but it's still not what they want that's why they keep doing more it's like you don't you have that art blindness where you don't see what you're working on you don't see how crazy it is or how good it is and you need to stop right people get into it all the time with Mm-hmm. plastic surgery and oh yeah whatever else yeah yeah well anyway <laughs> we got off, <laughs> got off topic here. <laughs> so hope you enjoyed this yeah. episode on plastic surgery don't get love bombed <laughs> yeah don't get love if you're getting love bombed just see yourself talk out. to someone get out mm-hmm. see yourself out it'll probably see fall yourself apart. out they'll probably start giving you some ultimatums and you'll know what you need to do so true get out if they don't let you take a break they're not confident in what they've built yeah they think it'll come crumbling down Mm -hmm. so just use that information wisely wisely Mm -hmm. to make a decision yeah there's a lot of stories out there honestly Mm -hmm. just talk to somebody Mm -hmm. (laughs) and i i i want to say like a lot of times it is really trashy people who are trying to do this to you yeah and sometimes it is not trashy people who are trying to do this to you. Maybe it, they yeah. learned this behavior somewhere or maybe they are just still really hurt in a bad place. Yeah. And so that they're they're resorting to these methods. Absolutely. So sometimes I'm like, I don't think you're the worst, but you're definitely not operating in a clean Mm-mm. way. No. Yeah. So you're still like, unfortunately, although I still, you know, would want to reach out to you as a friend and everything yeah. or, you know, whatever, just b- hope the best for you and all the stuff, not yeah. write you off as a person. Like you should not be in a relationship. Yeah. Cause you're not trustworthy. Yeah. And I'm never the person that's like, you need to be perfect before you get in a relationship or whatever. No. But just know that you do attract where you're at. Exactly. You know, and so it is important to try to make sure that you get yourself healed if there's places of hurt. Or You're things. never going to be like <laughs> I post. I reposted this the other day. It was like just say goodbye to the perfect person mm-hmm. or like your soulmate. The idea of your soulmate because yeah. nobody's perfect. And then people in the comments were like, well, what about people who say you need to try to be the perfect person? I'm like, OK, if anything, I don't think people were really taking that seriously to right. try to be perfect. It was just trying to turn that conversation around of like, I'm looking for the perfect person. It's like, well, why don't you try to be the perfect person? But right. I think they were just trying to turn it around. Yeah. I don't think they were trying to say actually be perfect. They were just trying to be like, why don't you work on yourself? They're like, don't be a slob and expect you, Yeah, perfection. exactly. Why don't you work on yourself instead of, you know, just yeah. expecting somebody else to come give you the world. And serve you and take care of you and all the stuff. Yeah. yeah. When you're, you're not doing anything with your own life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So anyway, but I'm like, there's no such thing as being the perfect person or marrying the perfect right. person or whatever. Like, girl, there's also nothing wrong with getting some healing and some working on some things. Exactly. And you can do that while you're in a relationship too. Exactly. But it just gives you a clearer head, I think, and perspective to mm-hmm. know learn what you want and what you need. Yeah. It takes a lot with, I think, internally to one, take things slow. Yeah. And two, to be by yourself for a time like to be okay with walking away at any point yes because if you're not at that place you could get manipulated very Mm -hmm. easily yeah that's exactly like know your value like don't let Mm -hmm. yourself be like well they're just somebody who likes me so at least i have that Mm -hmm. like no you can get someone better than that like you're Mm -hmm. an amazing person Mm -hmm. like don't sell yourself short Mm -hmm. you know so. Or you could, I think if you're a girl, you could do some manipulating to stay mm-hmm. in that relationship if so you're be careful too with insecure. That. Yeah. Maybe you're holding on and it needs to let, exactly. be let go. Exactly. Because it's not a healthy relationship. Maybe they don't want to be there. Yeah. So it's never going to be. Don't force them to. Yeah. Like if you have to ask them to stay. Yeah. They're eventually going to leave. Like if you're constantly worried they're right. going to leave, they probably will. Yeah. Like <laughs> let them go. You yeah. want someone that you know wants to be there yeah and you don't ever have to question that yeah you're like i know they want me as much as i want them yeah that is a great feeling Mm -hmm. you know don't Mm -hmm. be in that place where it's like i just never know if they're gonna leave tomorrow yeah that's rough yeah 
anyway <laughs> happy august to everyone <laughs> uh it's been fun yeah. hanging out here it's been good um <clears throat> yeah you know uh kelly said we haven't pushed youtube enough no recently so we are on youtube this is on youtube maybe you're finding us for the first time on youtube if you are welcome welcome we do this thing all the time but we don't do it with the camera all the time so no. <laughs> some new you we're trying catch up. if you're new here you can go catch up on 72 other episodes right with however many were have Something not like been that. video um and yeah there's a lot to a lot of room to go there but yeah if you're watching on spotify or just listening to this podcast this is a video podcast and it's available on youtube so you can go subscribe to us over there it's a good yeah. time we're, we're we're doing things and other than that we'll be back on thursdays every thursday with a brand new episode that's and right and we're talking about you know everything under the sun everything but anything you, and everything yeah, if you have a question for us, if you ever want our advice on a situation, if you ever have something crazy like this week, you know, what this person, know? <laughs> something crazy that happens to you and you want to write in the story, do it. We'd love to share and deep dive on it on the podcast because it's it's a lot of fun for us, actually. <laughs> it is. <laughs> um, and yeah, so it's a good time. But we'll be back next Thursday with a brand new episode. And uh, as of this one, it'll be in like two days. So Ooh. you get a whole other episode Bonus. soon. Yeah. Yeah. What can I say except you're welcome? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we're going to go get second lunch or something. Oh, and we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening today. Make sure that you're following us at Honesty Club Podcast on Instagram or check out our website, thehonestyclub.com to be a part of future episodes. You can submit an idea for a topic or write in with a story for us to share. If you like this episode, make sure to subscribe to us wherever you get your podcasts, leave us a review or share it with a friend. See you next Thursday.